So, so for me, MSB technology is something I was born into. Um, it started about 27, 28 years ago, and I am 27 years old. So, literally born into this uh, company. I have a lot of childhood memories of working in the shop, soldering components, you know, putting stamps on postcards. So, it's something I've known my whole life. Uh, it was later in about 2010 where I got my uh, engineering degree in mechanical engineering and design. And that's when I came back to MSB and was able to really contribute to where the company was going and the direction of product design. Uh, the first product I was able to work on was the analog DAC and that kind of speaks to the design language of MSB moving forward from that point on where we're looking for um, a clean aesthetic that brings a lot of value for the money invested in the products. But we've also had a huge focus on modular design so that the customer who invests in this product can then have uh, a sure knowledge that we can develop future technologies for their investment and it's not going to go obsolete in, in just a, a few short years. So, so at MSB, we really are a, a group of engineers focused on design, um, not marketing, not creating a super company, but really creating products that we love, products that inspire us, products that really debut a technology that's unique in the field. Uh, we do our, all of our own in-house manufacturing with our own SMT machines. I do the CNC programming for our own chassis design. And it's really a fun environment where we can develop and design products that um, bring a lot of value to, to um, a very small um, integrated component package. And it's hard to compare to other brands. Um, we're really focused on what we do. We're not looking at the market. We're not looking at what other people do. We're looking at what the technology's uh, potential is. And we're really trying to push that potential as far forward as possible. So digital to analog conversion in, in our side of the business, we do a lot of discrete design like our ladder deck um, technology, but all of that is driven with equations and interpretations. That is what digital to analog conversion is. It is an interpretation. So no matter how much science equations and math you put into that, it still is an art form to interpret you know, binary data into what is the music you hear. So recently, MSB has been purchased by my brother and I, Jonathan, and um, we too are very excited for MSB's future. I think the company, in my opinion, is just starting for, for where it's going to go. Um, we've been adding a lot of equipment to our factory, a lot of capabilities, and as I've only been here for about seven years working, um, my experience and knowledge is, is growing exponentially, as is Jonathan's. So I think future products, we can expect a lot of um, exciting steps forward, new technologies. Um, again, incorporated with the modularity, we have the ability to keep moving current products and new products very far forward in the, in the industry. Well, for me personally, I love um, product design. That's, that's my, my, my main passion in this industry. And I love to see an industry that's small enough where people can come together and bring exciting, exotic, or even just simple designs that really express their companies um, and uh, their the company language of what they want to bring to the industry. Um, some of the things I'm not a huge fan of would be marketing, campaigning against each other, um, belittling other companies to further your own company. I think for us, we do this because we love it. And um, that's what I, I want to keep doing. And that's why we don't participate in too much marketing or trying to say we are more than we are. We're just um, engineers, honest, making technology. And we're, we're very glad that people enjoy it and that people want to keep supporting us and allowing us to continue doing what we're doing. So, so for me, I was never involved with vinyl, even still. I, I don't own any, never used it, 
I have very little experience with it. Um, I've listened from time to time to some, some very good turntables. Um, but for me, I'm always looking forward. MSB, we're always looking forward. We're, we're excited about new technologies. And I think digital is really the, the end game. And it's a, a place of, of improvement and a place where we're going to continue to see improvement in, in media, content, and availability. So that's, that's my main focus and passion. So I would not consider myself an audiophile when I first started in this business. Um, it was, I mean, I love music, I listen to it all the time, but I wasn't aware of really what we were pursuing. It's until I started working in the industry, going to shows, doing speaker setups, and really getting a feel for, for how the industry works, for how we can improve this, the, the playback of music and the realism and the, the natural sound, that I started getting an appreciation for it. So, at this time, I would consider myself an audiophile. I've definitely spent a lot of time listening, and I can now finally pick up on, on things in a system that I was not able to in the past. Um, my personal system is basically some Frankenstein MSB gear that I've pulled together, homemade speakers. It's not something that you would present, but it sounds very good. So I think the uh, Mina Cayenne show has, has been very good for us as a, a good centralized show where we can meet with distributors, dealers, and introduce a lot of people to the brand. Um, the most important thing is having all the brands available to visitors, and I think Munich's done a very good job of that. But there's a lot of shows that are, that are smaller, dying out, that are hard to present at just because you, know, you're, you have the same amount of investment but you get much less of a yield. So I think uh, Munich High End is a very good potential future uh, show for us to continue attending. So this is an area that I'm very excited about because I think this is where there's the most potential in digital music. Um, I don't foresee PCs, servers being the future. Um, what MSB is investing in and looking forward to is the development of audio renderers. It's uh, something we've built into our current design with the modular upgrades. You plug in a renderer, and this brings the world of music to your product. And I think as we see these online streaming services getting more and more advanced with higher and higher quality, better playback, we get better internet connections. I think that is what at least my generation is really going to want to pursue, um, especially for a comfortable lifestyle playback of music. It's, you know, sit down, pull up an iPad, and you have the world of music at your fingertips. Every time we push the technology of our digital converters forward, we find there's always more to achieve. Uh, when the femto clock technology was getting down into the 77 femtoseconds of jitter, we thought, we've reached a limit. And then we cut that in half again, and, and you could hear a difference. And I think what's remarkable about this industry is I don't think we're going to see a cap on what's possible for technology in audio playback. It's something that your ear can hear and discern more than your, you know, like the visual perception of, of quality. You, know, you can only see so many pixels. But I think with audio, your ear has the ability to, to really bring more to... Um, an understanding of what is real, what's natural, and what you will be comfortable listening to for long periods of time.